One pop, two pop, three pop, four. Smoking on top fives. Stop playing, I'm that guy. Sometimes I come up with ideas for videos. And I'm just like, fuck it, let me do that. There's a lot of quality biopics that have been made in my lifetime. Ray, Elvis, Bohemian Rhapsody, Straight Outta Compton. Even though some people don't like Straight Outta Compton because they think it's historically inaccurate. But for some fucking reason, there has never really been an iconic portrayal of Tupac. It's kind of hard to find an actor who not only looks like Tupac, but also has the same commanding presence, voice, as well as charisma as Tupac. You see, Tupac's more than just a good rapper. He's almost like this mystical figure. Pac was like Jesus. Nas wrote the Bible. For this video, I'm gonna look through five actors who played Tupac. And obviously, Tupac can't play himself. So I'm not gonna be talking about poetic justice or juice or above the rim. Okay? Understand? And at the end of the video, I'm gonna say who I believe played Tupac the best. First off, RIP to Lamont Bentley. Alright, so Lamont Bentley played Tupac in this VH1 original movie that was released in 2001. Seeing MC Hammer's upbringing was interesting, and the actor who played MC Hammer was doing a phenomenal job in the movie. You've probably seen him before and Think Like a Man or 40 Year Old Virgin or whatever else he's in. I mean, look, dude, you think, you think, you think this was an accident? <laughs> All of this right here, premeditated, partner. Though Romani's doing a good job as MC Hammer, the same can't be said about Lamont Bentley's Tupac. Hey, yo, Hammer, man, why don't you go get Freddie to meet us I don't know, man. Don't seem right. We should just lay low tonight. This doesn't look like Tupac. Not saying that you necessarily need to look like Tupac to have an accurate Tupac, but yeah. Another thing about this performance that isn't really memorable is the fact that Bentley doesn't sound like Tupac. Pop, pop, pop! You stop bothering me and go shoot your video, man. Who the hell are you? His first appearance in the movie is like an hour into the runtime. Plus, he's only on screen for like five minutes. Hey, yo, check it out, motherfucker. I'm Tupac. Thank God he said Tupac, because if he didn't, I wouldn't even know that was him. I like Anthony Mackie, and I'd even argue that he's actually a tad bit underrated as an actor. But nah. Anthony Mackie is not acting like Tupac in Notorious. He's acting like Anthony Mackie. I have two major problems with Anthony Mackie's Tupac. Tupac isn't shown too often in this movie, so we don't really get to see the intellectual Tupac in this film, or even the Tupac that used to smoke weed and vibe with Big. Instead, we mostly see a party version of Tupac, and then the infamous beef that happens between Biggie and Tupac. I feel like this movie only covers the surface of Tupac, so that's kinda unfortunate. The other problem I have with Tupac in this film is the actor who played him. Anthony Mackie is a little too famous of an actor to play Tupac. By the way, I just saw this Spike Lee movie with Anthony Mackie in it called She Hate Me, and it's one of the craziest movies I've ever seen in my life. In my opinion, when a famous actor portrays another famous person in a biopic, they have to do something in order to make themselves look different from how they actually look. Like Rami Malek in Bohemian Rhapsody. He grew this porn stash and had some fake teeth added in. Hell, even Jamie Foxx wearing the glasses and Ray was good. But to be fair, Jamie Foxx does kind of look like a young Ray Charles. But Anthony Mackie? He literally just shaved his head and put some clothes on. It's no wonder why they consistently feel the need to remind the audience that this is, in fact, Tupac. One of the funniest scenes in this movie is when Hit Em Up is released. You know, the diss track. First don't fuck your bitch in the click you claim. And when you see Biggie look at the paper with Tupac's face on it. <laughs> yo, 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 hold up. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Anthony Mackie did the best he could with the little screen time he was given, but overall, he's not a convincing Tupac. What's the matter, dog? You in Paris? This guy's a gangster? His real name is Clarence. I only listed this dude because I saw a list with his name on it, and also, not that many people have played Tupac on screen, so why not? But surprisingly, Damian Bailey actually gets Tupac right. One of the reasons why Tupac is so hard to portray, other than his overall mannerisms, is his cadence. Pac has an iconic voice, but he also talks like he's always the smartest one in the room. And not like in a condescending way. He just seems like he's always one step ahead of the other person. In this MTV special from 1995, this reporter is asking Pac hella questions that may have rattled some people. And what was that like to have a mother who was addicted to crack? I love my mom, she the bomb to me, so. 
But Pac is able to answer every question while still being overly charismatic throughout the whole interview. I feel like out of all the actors so far, Damien does the best job at giving off this vibe. Right. I am crazy. I also don't think he really looks like Tupac, but this is a short film, so it doesn't really matter too much. He's also reenacting a famous scene from Juice, but still, I think he did a great job. <laughs> This guy is literally on screen for one minute and straight out of Compton. And I'm not exaggerating, he's literally only on screen for one minute and has four lines of dialogue. What up, Dre? However, looks wise, this dude is almost a spitting image of Tupac. And I also think the voice matches up a lot with the real Tupac. But obviously, with only one minute in the stew and it's also dark, I can't really jump to conclusions here because that would be ridiculous. I do wish that there was like an alternate reality where Mark Rose was given a real shot to actually portray Tupac in a movie or a TV series on the USA Network. Did you see what I did there? First thing I noticed when watching Unsolved is Mark Rose sounded a lot different than he did in Straight Outta Compton. That's because it wasn't Rose's voice. It was some actor named Darius Love. Jimmy Hitchman trying to get me to rhyme a little songs record. They've been calling me nonstop. There's something different about you. <laughs> but once you kind of ignore the voice for a second and try to immerse yourself into the story that's being told, this is a pretty great performance. There's a lot of things happening story-wise in this special. The cops are focused on, the East Coast, West Coast rivalry is focused on, and obviously Big and Tupac's relationship is focused on. Now this that shit. This is crazy, man. Mark Rose really gets Tupac's mannerisms down to a T. From his walk to the way he talks... I think this is the most faithful portrayal of Tupac we've seen so far, and I'm happy they gave Mark another chance to play the role because he actually kind of looks like Tupac. Hey, hey, hey. There could only be one Pac, okay? So finally, after a few cameos and a short film, Tupac finally got a movie based on him. And the movie was... Yeah, the movie kind of fucking sucked. There's certain historical inaccuracies in this movie, like supposedly that scene with Tupac and Jada. Keep my wife's name. You know that scene where he's reading her a poem or some shit like that? Yeah, that never happened in real life. And apparently the directors never got the blessing from Tupac's mom to make the film in the first place. But hey, money talks. But I'm not gonna review the movie here. Thank God. No, instead, let's talk about Demetrius Ship Jr.'s portrayal of Tupac. Let's start with the look, because that's the first thing we see. Even though we all know personality is the most important attribute, of course. Does Demetrius look like Tupac? In some angles, like this picture, if you squint a little bit, yeah, that's Tupac. But if you really look at Demetrius overall, he looks a little bit more similar to Rondé Hollis Jefferson. But still compared to other dudes who play Tupac, I'd say he mostly looks like Tupac. The craziest thing about this movie as a whole is that in the two and a half hours of this movie, I still feel like we didn't get to see an actual version of Tupac. This film goes from scene to scene like it's an episode of all that. Earlier in the video, I gave some props to Damian Bailey for his iteration of this scene from Juice. Well, they got that same scene in this movie. The thing is, the short film actually did it better. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Another knock I have on Demetrius' version of Tupac is his screen presence or lack of screen presence. Now, I can't fault Demetrius Ship Jr. completely in this department because at some point, the director has to come in and be like, all right, we're going to do another take. But unfortunately, I'm not rating the directing, just the acting. And overall, I just feel like he doesn't do a good job at getting down the attributes of Tupac. I ain't shit and I ain't never gonna be shit. Which of these actors do you believe played Tupac the best? I low-key think Demetrius Ship Jr. was a good Tupac. I just feel like he was directed wrong and was in a terrible movie. So if I had to pick the best portrayal of Tupac, I think I'm gonna go with Mark Rose. Once again, I don't really think he sounded like Tupac, but once you ignore that, everything else about his version of Tupac is good. So yeah, if you like this video, then like this video.